Hey Rudy, it's Kevin over at Sky Motor Cars. I'm doing a video for you on the 2015 Mercedes-Benz. But I wanted to also introduce, you know, us, because I know you're down in North Carolina, and just kind of show you who we are, what we do. This is our warehouse. We've got about, about 95 cars right now inside. Everything's pretty special. Got a couple of Ford Broncos, Jaguar, Mercedes, Land Rover, Range Rovers, Porsches, couple classic cars at 64 Land Rovers, a 66 Corvette, if you can see it buried in the back over there, C10. There's a photo booth that we, uh, that's where all the magic happens back there. But it's pretty cool, you know, got a really cool warehouse, everything's inside, safe and sound. And sell and ship them really all over the country. Beautiful BMW M5, I love that car, that car is awesome. Here's the car we're going to talk about. Uh, so I'm going to jump in it real quick. I'm going to fire it up. It's a cold start. It hasn't moved in at least two days. Um, I'm going to just jump in it, fire it up, pull it outside, and walk around the car. And I'll go over it with you. So, oh, hang on. I got the key here. Uh, 128.878 looks like miles. Acoustic lock, that's cool. Doors, oh, I'm in like the settings, we got to that. Here it goes, yeah. I just see no weird lights, no nothing. Sorry about that, I'm trying to do this all with one hand. 128, 878 miles. Got the nav. And everything works like it should. If you can see all this stuff, I'm using the buttons to kind of move things around. There we go. Just everything is uh, in very good shape. Let me pull outside. We can see a little better here. It's kind of dark. It's around 97 degrees already. It's like quarter of 11. So I'm going to try to get this done for you before it gets even hotter today. All right, let me just get over here a little bit. There we go. I see it flickering. Don't it? It's not flickering. It's just the LEDs in the camera. I can't I can never keep up. Let me see here. Uh, I'm going to go over the car, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the car, like it's my own. Um, if there's something there, I'm going to show it to you. So um, I apologize if I'm probably a little bit over picky, um, but I want you to be happy with the car. Uh, so I'll start off here on the driver's side front end here on the fender. It looks in great shape. There's a little, eh, it's just dirt. But there's no, um, you know, what's nice going down the side of it, the dings and dents, there's really nothing there. I mean, I don't really see anything, and I'm pretty particular on this stuff. I don't, I don't see anything there. One thing I did notice, though, is this front uh, left rim does have some curb damage right here. It's pretty minor, but it's there. Um, tires are great shape. Um, they're all Continentals on all four corners, all matching. Not some cheap brand tire on there. Driver's door's in great shape. The door, the sill down here, the little rock chip area down there is good shape. All the glass is good. There's no like acid rain. This car was garage kept, again, over in Pittsburgh. It's showing some Pittsburgh signs though, because it's got wheel rash here a little bit. Pretty, again, minor stuff, nothing crack damage broken or anything like that crazy. Just as there. Power sunroof works very good. There's no hail damage on the roof. There's no paint flaking, nothing like that. No acid rain on the windows. The rear uh, is in good shape. I don't really see much besides a couple little chips, which I'll show you. Uh, but the glass is in good shape. The, uh, like down here, is in great shape as well. The uh, the tail lights are good. They're not cracked or broken or taped or anything like that. Here's a couple of chips I was telling you about. Pretty minor. Again, just minor stuff for a car with 128,000 miles on it. It is a auto um, up and down tailgate. I just pulled it up just to do it. Um, it does have a real nice WeatherTech floor liner. 
Um, it does have third row seating. They're just, they've been down. Like he's like, I, I've, I've really never used them. I use it more for, you know, putting some bread and stuff in there for the restaurants. As you see, there's the tailgate going power. It does operate correctly both ways. I just pulled it up to get things moving here. Passenger side's in really good shape. Um, similar thing, got the, just some curb ash on the wheel. Um, and that's about it. Uh, no dings, dents on the side of it. He had this car for a very long time. There's a little mark here. I can, which I can probably get that off to be honest. It's pretty, pretty minor, but it's there. It's not cracked or anything like that. It looks like, actually, maybe it looks like somebody maybe rubbed up against it. I don't think it was hit. <sighs> pretty minor curb rash. You can see it, I and mean, that's the theme with the car. Again, um, Continental tires, all four corners, great shape. Over here at the front. Very minor. I mean, it's, I mean, it's hard to get this in the photo, but there's a stone, like pretty minor, just a stone chip here, here. Um, there's one here. Just it's it's very minimal wear. Front bumper's got normal kind of like uh, just stone chips on the lower lower side of it. Not bad. And I'll get down low. It wasn't. There's no curb damage, which is nice. It's not all chewed up. Brand new inspection, just done from Pennsylvania, any missions. Uh, the glass is good, there's no cracks or repairs, anything like that in there. One thing I did notice is these are kind of worn, obviously, they're bright white. Um, just the main window and the power mirror uh, controller, they're just kind of worn, and I don't know if maybe that's from cleaning them too aggressively, or it's just strange. It's, it's, it's again, it's a, it, it's a 15 with 128 on it. Door handles work, everything works as far as the seat, power seat all works, and the seat's in great shape. Bolster's great, the seat pad is fantastic. Rear seats, again, he's uh, his kids are older and grown, he never really used them a lot. Still has the shades and they all are there everything works i opened up the trunk already passenger seats in fantastic shape as well man's it hot great everything is good with the uh, passenger door again seat works like it should all the buttons work everything's there no missing buttons. All the glass is good on the mirrors. Nothing's broken on that. Mercedes emblem's there. Driver's side mirrors are good. Just jump in here for just a minute. Oh, AC. Uh, so everything is in great condition. Nothing's worn off up here. AC is blowing cold because it is hot. Uh, we got the, uh, there's a, the, the interface for a smartphone. That's about it. I mean, it's in really good shape. It really is. Backup camera all works. Heated seats, which I'm going to just show you that they operate. I'm going to turn them on. That's a fold down for the rear headrest. Dual zone. I think it's triple zone. It has a zone in the back as well for climate control, power sunroof, all that works. Really is a great car. Yeah, 90, 91 already, it's not even 11 o'clock. All the stickers are here. Everything is where it should be. Uh, both keys, we have all the books, manuals, everything the light that comes with the car. Um, I mean, it's a nice car for the price, the miles, everything on it. So uh, give me a call if you have any questions, need me to do something specific. I'm pretty sure I did a pretty in-depth walk around on this thing, um, like it's my own car. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. 610-918-7225. Uh, Again, Kevin Reese at Sky Motor Cars. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.